And here's the most important thing that I learned this year as a pilot. Throughout the course of the year, you're going to learn a variety of different things and you're going to constantly be growing depending on whatever you're deciding to do in aviation. But for me personally, one of the most important things that I learned this year was the significance and the importance of always practicing maneuvers and various kinds of takeoffs and landings, even if the situation doesn't warrant it. Just doing it to keep things fluid and smooth and keep the mechanics going and a lot of that muscle memory happening. As you're studying to become a pilot, you're being overwhelmed by information and you're learning how to do a variety of different things in the aircraft. But once you get your pilot's license, it's very easy for you to become complacent. It's very easy for you to get into a zone where you simply do the same things over and over again and not continuing to grow and expand, meaning practicing a lot of the things that you learned before. For example, you may just be in a situation that after you get your license, you're so excited that you go off and you do a lot of family and friends trips, which are great. And then going into do, getting a hundred dollar burger, which is also great and going exploring and doing all these various things. But as you're doing these different type of things, you're doing a lot of the same maneuvers, particularly that you may be doing a lot of just say a normal landing and a normal takeoff in all situations. And you're not really practicing anything else. But then a certain situation may pop up where something's warranted where, hey, you have to execute a soft field or a short field, either takeoff or landing, and it may be something that you haven't done in many, many moons. That's one of the things that you don't want to do and you do not want to become complacent. Try to dedicate some time if you're already in that situation, dedicate some time in your flying where you actually just dedicate some significant time to just practicing things. It can be on the way back from getting that $100 burger. Maybe you stop off in a practice area and you run through some things just to keep it fluid. Maybe you just designate one of your flights out of the many that you have to jumping up and getting in the air and then doing and dedicating to those things. Maybe you work the pattern a few times just because and make sure you're practicing different kinds of takeoffs and landings. This is very key to keep those things top of mind where you think less about them and you're ready to execute and then it also helps you when the situation warrants itself and you have to do something you're very well versed and the same goes for any of your maneuvers that you may be learning in the very beginning as well whether that's with steep turns or whether that was you know stalls or various other kinds of things just always make it a point to practice those things every now and again it really helps you along the way. And that is one of the most invaluable and important things of learning this year. And just wanted to share that with you and encourage you, regardless of where you are in your aviation journey, to continue to do the same thing so you stay on top of your game. It's kind of like iron sharpens iron and you have to be in the mix and you have to constantly be using these tools or you can get a little bit rusty. The same thing goes for a lot of the knowledge portion that you learn, of course, throughout your aviation journey. Maybe there's some knowledge pieces of information that you absorbed a while back, but you haven't utilized that information because there hasn't been a need for it in the most recent history. So all of a sudden you may have forgotten it. You may have to go look something up again and kind of get that, that reassurance that, oh yeah, that's what it is, and that, et cetera, et cetera. Staying on top of your ground and knowledge game is also very key as well make because they're gonna own all these things is only going to give you more confidence as a pilot make you feel more comfortable and make you very aware of pretty much any situation that can be thrown your way when you're just learning this stuff and you have that goal of becoming a pilot it's almost as if you're forced to stay on top of your game because you have the end goal in mind but then as you go on throughout your journey depending on what you're doing you can easily become complacent and forget a lot of things unless you force yourself. That's where the discipline comes in. You know, it's easy to be motivated when you have that carrot dangling in front of you. It's a lot more harder to be motivated when, of course, you have to be disciplined yourself. You know, injecting yourself and doing things even when you don't feel like doing it or wanting to do it or think that you have it in the bag. Never feel that way as a pilot. Always feel like, always be learning, always be growing, always be, here's the key, relearning. That's the key. Because just because you learned it one way and it got you through a certain section doesn't mean that you that there isn't any room for improvement and relearning something and things that you may have forgotten and bringing those things back to the top of your memory as well. 
A. The second most important thing that I learned this year kind of goes in conjunction with number one. It's an extension of it. It's about always extending and exploring your comfort zone. This is your comfort zone right here, but you know where all the fun happens? It happens out here, outside your comfort zone. So if you want your comfort zone to go from here to expanding and now all of a sudden your comfort zone is here and here and here and it's growing, you have to constantly be pushing yourself and challenging yourself as a pilot, whether that's maybe landing at a certain different type of airport, maybe that's entering a different type of airspace that you may be unfamiliar with, whether that's flying a, a different type of aircraft, whether that's doing all sorts of things to really help push you along the way. The beauty is, you can go at your own pace. Just always make sure that you're going, that you're going at a certain, you have that progressive overload mentality. Much like when you go inside the gym, if you throw enough big weight in the gym, you squat and deadlift in 300 pounds, but then you only go in every week and you do the same 300 over and over and over again. You, you're strong, obviously, but you're not growing. So even if you put the incremental weight increase on there, 305, 310, etc week by week, et cetera, et cetera, you're going to actually grow and get a lot stronger simply because you're practicing that. And think of that, have that same mindset for you as a pilot, purposely putting yourself in challenging situations. Don't wait to be challenged. You take the initiative to challenge yourself. So therefore you can grow and grow under the right circumstances as you begin to learn and keep learning as a pilot. If you're looking for a review to learn or relearn any of the things that we need to know as pilots, please utilize this channel. There's over 100 videos about pretty much each and every topic as it pertains to everything that you need to know to become a pilot. Everything from weather to airspace to radio comms, all on this channel. A step-by-step -step guide to help you save money, to become a pilot in the cheapest and fastest way possible, and to really make sure that you understand, of course, all of the knowledge portion that goes into it and being explained in a nice, fun way from a different perspective. All available for free on this channel. Hey, and I would say the third most important thing, numero tres, that I learned this year was the significance and the importance of gratitude and being grateful for our abilities and the things that we have and the opportunity to fly airplanes. Extremely grateful and thankful for each and every moment that you have in the sky. Life is very precious and it can be taken away from us at any given time for any particular thing. So enjoy the moment, enjoy the opportunities and be grateful for the time that you have in the sky to share with your friends and your family. Grateful for all of you who watch the videos on this channel and are able to use this content to help you in your pilot journey to go and do whatever you decide to do in aviation, extremely grateful for each and every one of you, and just grateful for the big part of aviation and part of the journey and part of something that is spectacular when it comes to the gift that it gives this world. These are the most important things I learned this year as a pilot. Subscribe to this channel.